Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Akshata, I am the intern. If you are struggling to choose the best thesis topic, then this video is for you guys. In today's video, I will be sharing some expert tips that will uh, make choosing your research topic easier, faster and more effective. So stay tuned till the end. Choosing the best thesis or a project topic for your final year involves the several key steps. First one is to select the topic which you are interested in. Start asking by yourself in which area you are interested the most. For example, uh, if you are willing to study on a disease like its severity, incidence and prevalence rate or if you wish to study on a medicines like its risk and benefit factor or if you want to study on a patient response to a treatment plan or disease. So choose something that you are passionate about because you will be working on it for a month. The next step is the select the type of study. So there are mainly two types of study, prospective and retrospective. In prospective study, you will collect the data in real time and follow the case into the future. In retrospective study, you will analyze the existing data or medical records from the past events. If you have a less time and need a quicker result, then you can go with the retrospective study. But my suggestion is to start the prospective study. Well, retrospective study also gives you valuable knowledge, but in prospective study, it offers you clearer understanding on what we are working on it and it boosts our confidence as we collect the data on our own. Yes, it's time consuming and need a lot of efforts, but the results and the experience absolutely worth it. Third step is the literature review. So once after deciding your uh, topic and type of study, you can download the latest research paper and article related to your topic. You can find the uh, articles and download them on a Google Scholar website. After downloading the latest research paper and articles, study those and try to understand the author's goal and on which area they worked on their uh, findings and results. So by this literature review, you will get an idea about your topic and you will be capable of identifying the research gap. Fourth step is the ensure the availability of the resources like lab equipments, patient data and research paper etc. Suppose if you have chosen topic something related to blood test or a lab test then be prepared to sponsor the expenses yourself along with your team members because no fundings will be given by the hospital or a uh, college. If you choose the rare disease then it might be difficult for you guys to reach the sample size. Uh, the minimum sample size for 6 month study is between 120 to 150 and maximum it can go up to uh, 300 to 350. In thesis and project study follow up is crucial. So selecting the patient from the surgery or emergency department might be difficult for the follow up. So consider this all the points before starting your study. Pick a topic that can make a difference in healthcare. Think about uh, how your research could improve the patient outcome. And please do not copy the other study results. By the end, ensure that you gain the valuable knowledge from your study. So yeah, that's all about today's video. Hope this video is helpful to you all guys. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comment section. And meet you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.